Hello everyone and welcome to a very good, interesting Victoria 2 multiplayer war in Divergences of Darkness in a campaign where I'm playing as Aragon. If you've been paying attention to the Aragon cinematic universe, you'll know the situation leading up to this war and the backstories of almost every nation here, but you can also watch this video as a standalone, it works that way too. In the intro I'm going to do a quick recap of the situation leading up to this war and then I'm going to do an overview of all the participants, their strengths, weaknesses, brigades and tech and everything. The elites don't want you to know this, but if you have a short attention span and you want to get straight into the war, you can just click on the navigation to go there. Anyway, please like the video, subscribe to me if you haven't, and you can support me by becoming a channel member or going to my Patreon. You get many fascinating benefits from all that. Thank you very much to all the people who already are supporting the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, Hungary needs our help. We need to prevent a Trianon from happening right before our very eyes. Although this is actually happening due to their own decisions. Back in the early game, Hungary decided not to go after the Ottoman Empire while they were at their weakest point, and instead they went into a war related to the Nogai Horde against Poland, Lithuania and Bohemia. First they lost Slovakia, which is one of their most important and strongest regions. Then in the next war the Ottomans joined against them anyway. Despite Hungary's mercy when the Ottomans had their huge rebellions, the Ottomans actually has accepted pops against Hungary, the Serbians. Which is why they took the region of Slavonia and they took Bosnia, which is also a natural expansion route for Hungary. If no one steps in then it's over for Hungary. That's where my rising power of Aragon Italy comes in. As I said in a past video, it would be so boring just to join in this partition and do easy wars against a couple of Hungarian stacks. We need to fight a real war. Besides, I don't really have the infamy to eat actual Hungarian land that's not my core. The infamy is reserved for eating Spanish land, which is directly my accepted pops and really important land for me. Also, Hungary has already given me infamy to eat the Spanish AI, which has helped me greatly, and if I help him survive he'll give me even more. And one more long-term reason not to just eat into Hungarian land, the land I do take from him, for example Croatia and then into the Hungarian heartland, would just be undefendable in great wars and just be sources of war exhaustion and occupation in the future. My current borders in Italy and Iberia are safe. Naval dominance is key in that, but they aren't just free occupations for enemies. And in this situation, I'm going in to fight a war that is away from my land. Hungary and the Ottomans are going to be the battlefield. This is an overseas war for Aragon, we're safe. Hungary is next in the chopping block for an alliance of three nations who have just finished partitioning Muscovy. You've seen the backstory of Tatarstan, formerly known as the Nogai Horde, and their alliance with the PLC and the Ottomans. Make no mistake that Ottomans, PLC and Tatarstan are an alliance bloc and they will help each other if one of them is attacked. The PLC and the Ottomans own Hungarian cores and they want to continue partitioning them. Tatarstan is loyal to the people who helped him survive and form. This is going to be a 3v2 war in their favour, but how do the nations actually stack up against each other and what are the numbers? Well, I don't really have any good save games right before the war started, so it's difficult to get the right soldier numbers and everything, but I can give you a rough idea. The Ottomans and the PLC PLC are massive nations with really high pops, but they've yet to reach their full potential. The PLC doesn't have Ruthenian accepted yet, which is about half his pops, so he doesn't have a big mobilisation pool. And the Ottomans is really struggling on soldier pops, because he's been going for clergymen obviously. The PLC has decent up to date miltech, but the Ottomans doesn't. The Ottomans miltech isn't terrible, but it's not good. My Aragon Italy has the highest miltech going into this war, but not much over the PLC. Unfortunately for the Tatars, their country leaves a lot to be desired as well. They are stuck on 5 miltech, they've been just going for culture text as soon as they westernise to get their literacy up, but they do have a very good army composition, they've abandoned cavalry stacks in favour of proper artillery stacks because they are in the Holy Roman Empire's sphere. Poland-Lithuania by the way is a great power, not in a sphere, and they don't have any iron so they might struggle to reinforce their troops. The Ottoman Empire is a great power, they do have resources but they don't have any industry yet so they will struggle to reinforce. Whereas Aragon Italy, we're strong, we've got all the resources and a decent industry. Hungary is in the Scandinavian sphere, that goes back to when Scandinavia supported them, so that will help Hungary Hungary reinforced pretty well. And now brigade counts, which is the toughest thing for me to find an accurate number for, so I've given you some estimates. The numbers for my country are completely up to date because I can actually just see them in the footage. And I'm showing professional brigades on top of mobilised brigades. Anyway, let's just put these inaccurate numbers into some big rough totals, and it turns out that the sides are actually very balanced in brigade count. So the war is going to come down to the other factors that I previously mentioned, as well as the strategy and the geography, but I'll talk about those two things in the war analysis after the war. Can Aragon Italy save of Hungary. Let's find out. Declare on the Ottomans whenever you're ready. I'm ready to go in. Ah, uh, now you're attacking them. Listen, I'm ready. Look, I formed my map and built up my army. Now I can do wars, alright? You just smoked. Alright. Call me in. Let's fucking do this. I'm moving in all across the border. My money is fucking terrible. I need to go around begging for grants. I can give you a grant. What country are you now? Uh, Taiping. I'll request. 
Uh, Poland is mobilizing, so he's gonna join soon. Yeah, just make sure we garrison that whole border. Yeah, I don't have the whole border garrison. So why are you going to garrison those forests when you could just stay in that mountain? You should just do the two mountain provinces. Yeah, just the mountain. Moldavia is probably too much. That's fine, I got you. Okay, here's the Ottoman line. From Sofia, we move into uh, Stara Zora, so we don't get the river crossing. You're four attacking to Stara Zagora. We'll do that. Yep. Go in, go in, go, go, go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's do this. Yeah, I've got a four attack. I can move around. Maybe we could do the double attack. It's two to one now in our favor. Hey, Spud. Yep. The machine parts thing has normalized. Can you take me out of a spear for a while just so I can earn money? Uh, my four attack is moving, hold on. He's going in I'm there. still taking him pretty well, just reinforce it. It's like Raleo's oh, joining. Possibly. Yeah, that's Join fine. Just sit here, we're fine. I can land troops into, like, Thrace, actually. Tatarstan uh, just joined. Yeah. Tatarstan joined! Ottomans is pulling back. Oh, do you want to attack his retreating troops? Yeah, follow up. Follow up to Plovdiv. That's Plovdiv, follow gotcha. Oh, what about the other battle? Do you just want yeah, to follow up as race? well? Yeah, keep going. I think he's broken. Just do an all-out attack. Yep, gotcha. You can probably encircle him if you get to Adrina before him. I'll need your four attack and reinforce. He's got five defense. Oh, get your four attack into Adina. Attack five, defense five. Holy shit. Actually, we've encircled him. Have four. We have encircled him. My four attack is in there, but just move everything. I think into we that have is... to just move everything in and try and sustain the battle. Yeah. He retreated. Get to Gallipoli. Five, five, general. Damn. Yeah, get to Braille at Tulsi. At Tulsi is very defendable to Marsh. Oh, he's, in, he's going in force. He's, he's attacking That's where he's Braille. Attacking, dude. Right, Turkey, Turkey retreated across the strait. That's fine. Just let him go. We're not going to push any further, obviously, like across the strait or anything. I'm killing his navy. Poland's moving around? He's not going to do anything. Oh, he's going to try to encircle you, but he will probably fail at that. Oh, you attacked uh, Polish troops. I'm gonna go in for the encirclement. Oh no, Tatarstan is there. Tatarstan is gonna help. That's an encirclement. Uh, 15th of March, 16th, one day after. He retreated. I'm stopping moving. Don't fall. Don't attack. Gotcha. Oh, he put units in Athens. Those are his mobs, actually. I think he's just trying to get them out of there or something. And the Mongols are coming. Oh, I can move into the Sea of Marmara now. We're good. I can move into like, you know, the Black Sea now. Hungary is already blockading Tartar's down there with a ship. Poland attacked! Poland attacked! Get in! Yep. Oh, you got a yeah, defense yeah, general? Yeah. They're doing a double attack actually, they're attacking Debrechen as well. there in time that my general will come in. Yeah. Oh, 
Ottomans can still wrap his troops around. Um, that is true, but it will take but... him a long time. I got attacked by the Ottomans in Constantinople. He can, he can uh, move across that? Shit, yeah, that's, he's got uh... a massive amount of troops. Help! Jesus Christ. We won the Brechin. Dude, that five five is just. Like we got fine. anything, general wise? I've got four defense. Please, four defense. Can he move across Gallipoli right now? Uh, no, no. not if you have boats. Not if you have boats. I mean, yeah. he moved from Constantinople. Yeah, Constantinople. Yes, but you didn't have boats there. Then. Okay. Hey Pierre, are you the one who edits the DOD MP version now? Or oh, he fucking is moving across Gallipoli, you fucking retards! Who's telling me this info? Uh, you're gonna he get is there moving. first. You're gonna get there first. He is fucking moving. Who is feeding the gun fake news? You start cycling, you're you're beating him out, dude. Jesus Christ, that was stressful. <laughs> uh, that is true. He shouldn't be able to do that. It should be fixed. Yeah, I, I didn't know that, but I thought he wouldn't. Guys, get your facts right. Those facts are right. It's in the mod that has changed. He retreated. They're losing this war. So on Constantinople, I'm gonna put my four defense general. Remove all of your generals there, gotcha. No, okay. listen, the battle's over. Okay. He's retreating. Oh, just okay. have no, your. I'm just saying for. Yeah. Hungary, if you can, add Bosnia right now. I got attacked in Gallipoli. Can... Put your four defense there, please. Yep. Uh, he's, he has a zero. He fucked up his attack. Oh, he's, he he's also put... attacking Constantinople. It's a double attack. All right. I'll, I'll reinforce Constantinople because that's where his five is. Let me fucking transport some troops behind and see if I can encircle. Yeah, yeah, follow his 5-5 five five with your defense. I'm moving some shitty infantry mob sacks. We can negotiate. I'm willing to give up Slavonia and Bosnia, but anything more than that is going to be asking for a bit much. Okay, okay. What about one North African colony for me? On top of that. Tripoli, like I'm fine with you taking Tripoli. Yeah, I'm going to go and tell that to Hungary. Slovakia oh. will make me an actual player and a viable ally. I know, but we can't really justify that unless we get a total victory over them. Slovakia, because we haven't occupied it. But we can keep fighting, and we'll probably win. I mean, this is the best chance we've had. They'll get someone else on their side next war, like... You make a really good point. Someone go down and tell them that we reject their current offer. You know, we can do an attack on them, but... Yeah, in Moldova. When the Ottomans... Yeah, no, no, not Moldova. Actually, just in Dobruja. If we move from Constanta, we don't get a river crossing. However, the problem is... Um, we're kind of stretched thin troop-wise. If, uh, if the Ottomans launches an attack across the strait again, we're pretty stretched thin. Yeah, it even looks like they're going to do that attack again. He's moving his uh, Chad to the other strait. The Gallipoli. He literally just named his thing Chad. So no. Did he? <laughs> yeah, he did. He's attacking. Okay. Get your general. He attacked me in Greece with these meme troops as well. He cannot reinforce that. My naval encirclement's coming. It's coming. Hopefully he doesn't notice because this will be huge. Uh, yeah, that's oh. 10 to 1. And yeah, just encircle that, Holy we're annihilating shit. him. I'm only moving into China, Kali. Be careful of the Tartarstan units, you don't actually... Yeah, you have to get into Gallipoli, get more into Gallipoli. Dude, you're literally 10 <laughs> Miltech ahead of Tartarstan. Your general's in the wrong one, man. Yeah. Well, Why did that I... happen? Anyway, does, I'm in circle. Uh, okay. Gallipoli's about to be in circle. Okay, gotcha. But we need to win the Gallipoli well, battle anyway. I'm there. Well, I'm fucking in, he's encircled in Gallipoli. It's over. 
Do you want to follow up? No, I don't want to. It's a it's a fucking hell, and he's got a five defense. I don't want to do that. We don't need to. Be careful of Kiraka. Listen, look at this fucking huge Sakuman anyway. Okay. Fucking yep. genius. I'm putting my four defense in, so try and take out yeah. generals. Yeah. Uh, any mind taking over? Oh yeah, my four attack. Sorry, sorry. Uh, he's out. This is a huge victory. This in Sakuman, by the way, it's fucking massive. That is true. Let's see how many units he loses. All right, let's see. 110 brigades goes to. Even some Tatar stun. I've encircled some Tatars in there as well. He has 111 units. Goes to 81 units. <laughs> That's actually exactly 30. Nice. Good job, team. If you move to, uh, to Caucasia in Tsukuhumi, they won't be able to send units from Poland to Turkey or from Turkey to Poland. Oh shit! I mean, I don't think they're really moving that many anyway. I'm gonna go and put 30k in it. Yo, why don't you tag Constantinople right now? Uh, mm. Oh, we're going to attack yeah. Tool Chair with. We're gonna go and do that instead. I'll just use my four attack. I'm attacking. Poland's reinforcing. The Ottomans aren't here, so they can't use the five defense. Oh, they're gonna go and attack me in China Kali, actually. I'm just gonna move back from there. Can I? Should I? No, we're fine. Can you get ready to reinforce China Kali with your defense four, Hungry? Uh, where is it? Across the street. They're attacking. He's attacking. Take off your general. It's not gonna take over, it's like a minus two attack. Oh, okay. But yeah, he's there. They have oh, a lot tough. of troops in my attack battle. Can I keep this going? Oh, they got a nine roll. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Pull out or pull out, pull out, pull out. Okay, gotcha. Stop, stop moving in. Gotcha. Hey, right, listen, we're just gonna sit here, okay? Oh, he's sending units to Caucasus. Yeah, I can reinforce that. I'm just adding tinkers now, honestly. Well, if you can add now, add them. Yeah, I can now. They're preparing to attack across the strait. I might we can do it in naval naval encirclement if they attack Constantinople. They're attacking. Get your general in there. Yep, he's moving in. I'm gonna go for the encirclement. Alright, I'm moving. Yeah, no commander. Until the Hungarian no, no, commander. No, no, he's moving in, he's moving in, yeah. Are you gonna do the encirclement? Of it's the coming up. It's fucking happening. Do the encirclement. They retreated. I have to stop. It looks like they're gonna try and attack some. Yeah, they're attacking the forest. Get your general. Teleport. This is a pretty dumb attack on their part. Maybe it's a distraction. The what? I don't know, but be vigilant. Okay, maybe they're gonna attack somewhere down in Dobruja as well. Yeah, they're moving. I've got loads of reinforcements. They are taking us. How are they doing so well on these offenses? I mean, they're rolling. The general, you've only got a two defense. Okay, they're going for the other one. They're not going for any of them. They're just gonna take a chicken in a swamp. Tatars are dying in a swamp. Should we mind We're still by getting ticked badly, damn. Even though my generals... It, it's, they fine. Have it's fine, that's it. Okay, they are attacking. And I am reinforcing. Oh, they do have right. a lot more artillery. I'll have my 3D, I have a 3 defense I can put in. Oh shit, they're actually going full in. We can hold this. I think this is just Tardustan sending his units to die. Oh damn. That's gonna be fucking stack wiped. That's gonna get stack wiped. In fact, still three days. Do you wanna do you wanna encircle? Follow up after? Yeah. Yep. Actually that can easily you can easily do that, not to mention 
He's, oh, he's I don't know if he's going to get encircled or do another attack ah. immediately. Oh, he got fucking stack wiped. It's over. And they're still attacking. Follow up. Wait, wait, wait. He is out of sync. I don't know if he's... Wait, sync. he is out of sync? Yeah. He, oh. Uh... Actually, he stopped moving his units once they died. He saw that. I'm going to quickly ask him if that was intentional or whatever. Oh, we lost Ritual out. Looks like we're re-hosting. Or end session. So, Spudgun, uh, all of my cores cost like nothing. You, We can like add whatever we want. Take yourself a couple of states. We're, we're ending session because that was totally unintentional. I'm going to take Sinai. On his screen, like I was telling him to retreat out of the battles, but on his screen it didn't, it, it, like it did it for him, but I just didn't actually do it. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't re-host when he uh, oozed. I didn't see it. He should have re-hosted, but no one told yeah. him. We're, we're going to revert the save like a month or two back. Yeah, let me let me check. Uh, like, we are. Yeah, because um, he was out of sync when the whole battle thing happened. He decided to continue while being out of sync. It's a choice. Should probably just use the auto save of fucking. Uh, I mean, first like, April. you guys are winning anyway. So. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, maybe we can yeah, we'll rerun use... it and then I'll get better rolls. Actually, there's one war goal that I need uh, to this war as well. I need a humiliate on Tatarstan. <laughs> oh. Non-negotiable. We'll all siege him down. Well, are you peacing out this war? You better retreat from those battles. Yep, I'm going up. Add Slovakia. I did. Okay, good. Right. I'm going to be adding humiliate on Tatarstan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. I don't um, accept that. I don't accept that. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, continue the war. Uh, you guys good to The war is continuing. The war's, that's it. Oh, I'll, shit, I'll, I'll pause on the one speed. War is over. Uh, do you need infamy for the Spain war? You know what? I could definitely do with uh, an infamy. Or two. I'll send a stack over. Thanks. Yeah, enjoy while well last. Ooh. <laughs> you got humiliated. On the battlefield and in the peace deal, Tatarstan. So let's take a look at the peace deal from this war. You can see a huge difference between Hungary before and after this. This was a huge restoration war for them. And they also went further and took lands they don't have cores on. The total population that they gained in the peace deal for this war was 1.61 million, bringing their total pops up to 5.61 million. The Ottomans' total pops gets reduced to 12.1 million. So it's a big victory for Hungary, but he's still in an overall pretty bad position. And of course I took the Sinai region from the Ottomans to build the Suez Canal myself, because with the Ottomans' tech they'll never get it done. This is an infinite me hit that will slightly slow down my conquest of all that Spanish territory, but I couldn't resist taking this, come on. As you might have heard during some peace negotiations, Hungary and I are very aware that this is a rare victory for us, we might not get the opportunity to do this again in the future, so we went for the maximum damage, and of course the maximum humiliation. Alright, here's the war analyzer. 830,000 casualties to us, 960,000 casualties to them. Could the PLC, Ottoman and Tatarstan alliance have won this war? Absolutely they could have, yes. The brigade counts in the war were even across the board as you remember, and the tech differences can't have made much difference because there were points where the Ottomans and their low tech army were destroying Aragonese and Hungarian stacks, especially with good rolls or that 5-5 general, so they were still capable of fighting battles against us. That's not what lost them the war. What lost them the war was first of all the blunder in Gallipoli, where he didn't notice my naval landing and I successfully pulled it off encircling 30 brigades of the Ottomans and about 10 Tatar brigades if that was one of their stacks in there. But more importantly they didn't look at their geographic situation in the war and use that. The PLC and Tatarstan are essentially cut off from the Ottomans, technically joined together over a very long route that I eventually cut off. And they were fighting Hungary and Aragon who were completely joined together as one unit in one area. So all they had to do in their attacks against us was just to coordinate them and do them at the same time. The PLC had their offensive into Hungary, we narrowly held them off 
after taking reinforcements from the south, and then after that the Ottomans attacked us. If they did that at the same time, then they had a very high chance of breaking us. It's that simple. In fact, the enemy's coordination in not attacking us at the same time was perfect. It was like clockwork, watching them attack at different times, or the Ottomans attacking us after our offensive into the PLC failed. Ultimately though, the war became a stalemate with us holding on to vast swathes of Ottoman land and them holding on to a little bit of Hungarian land. Throughout this, we were blockading them, getting their war exhaustion up very high, and we had the potential to ticker out the war if we needed to. That's probably why they surrendered. So that's how this Aragonese Italian operation to defend and restore Hungary was a huge success. We went in and blew out the Ottomans while holding off the PLC and Tatar onslaughts. But there's a huge problem in the long term. Tatarstan, Poland, Lithuania and the Ottoman Empire are three countries who scale very well later into the game. Hungary won't scale very much anymore and Aragon Italy can only get a little bit stronger by eating that Spanish accepted pot. When Tatarstan's finished biologism he'll be able to start moving into military techs and he has ample AI land to expand into. The PLC will soon get Ruthenian accepted which will double his mobilisation pool and when the Ottomans get going in the late game they are a powerhouse when they can actually get their soldier pops and a good industry running so this war is definitely not the end of this. Also in this campaign there's two absolute giants in Europe the dual monarchy and the Holy Roman Empire they're not getting involved in the Eastern European conflict they're sitting there in a cold war state will they have a giant showdown one day? Of course they will and we're all looking forward to it. So thank you very much for watching everyone that was another very well thought and interesting Victoria 2 war you will never get anything like this in Victoria 3. Launch a diplomatic play to restore Hungarian cores and then just uh, manage some trade routes while your armies go off and do something. Then you can't really have any interesting negotiations during the war because you can't add war goals. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. There's going to be a lot more Victoria 3 stuff coming up, some discussions, and then when the game comes out, I'll just stream it single player on day one in the morning, maybe do some multiplayer later in the day. But what I really need to get around to doing is just a definitive video that shows my complete and full views on the Victoria 3 war system and what could have been done differently. I really need to lay that all out very clearly in a good video. Other than that, I've also been thinking of putting out a GeoGuessr video or two because I had some very good streams of that back in the day that deserve to get edited down into the really funny moments and put into a video that you can all see. Let me know what you think of that. As of right now, there's still a very interesting Victoria 2 multiplayer live campaign going on on Sundays. Session 2 of that campaign was utterly insane. You think you've seen everything when it comes to Victoria 2 multiplayer and all the crazy possible situations and then something new comes up and it's just the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Anyway, support the channel, like the video and all that. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.